Hi, fourth graders, it's Miss Leon, and I am back to talk to you more about text structures. Today, we're going to focus on um, learning about the chronology or the sequence text structure. When doing the chronology or sequence text structure for mapping, please remember that the the purpose of this type of text is to give you steps or things in order. Some of the clue words are listed here. You can see first, second, third, next. Then you can also see some of those clue words being just numbers like one, two, three, and so on. And other ways you can see it as um, them listing dates, kind of like in a diary or in a timeline. We like to use some boxes with arrows showing how things happen in order over time. The map that I'm choosing to use today to um, find the main ideas for this chronology text will be a pyramid map. At the top of the pyramid map will be the topic sentence. the topic sentence, and then we will do this, the steps going down. And then at the very bottom, we will find the clincher, which is what the uh, very last ending result is. Our passage says, it takes many people who work together to make a new toy. First, someone must get a good idea. Then the idea must be put into a plan so that other people who will help make the toy will know what to do. Next, someone builds machines to use for making and assembling all of the parts of the toy. Then factory, factory workers run the machines to produce the new toy. Finally, other workers put the new toy in a box to send to the toy store where you can buy it. So what I'm going to need to do is find the clue words and highlight those and mark those up. Okay, so I went ahead and I highlighted the clue words that I saw. They were first, then, next, then, and finally. So definitely I think this is going to be a chronology text structure. So the topic sentence, the sentence that tells us what this passage is mostly about, I am noticing is pretty much our first sentence in the paragraph. It takes many people who work together to make a new toy. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in this line for the topic sentence. Working together to make a new toy. So then I need to go ahead and I need to find out what my first step is. And it says, first, someone must get a good idea. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write that down in step one. So we have here step one, get a good idea. The next step it says is then the idea must be put into a plan so that other people who will help make the toy will know what to do. So my next step is plan what to do. So now I'm looking for my third step and it says here, next someone builds machines to use for making and assembling all the parts of the toy. So the third part is that they are making the machines. So I'm going to add that into step three. The fourth step that we see is then factory workers run the machines. So step four would be to run the machines. So we're going to add that. Then after running the machines, we see that finally other workers put the new toy in a box and then send the toy to a store where you can buy it. So we're going to next put the toy into a box. That would be step five. After putting the toys into boxes, then they can send them to the stores. And then the clincher will be the end result. And the end result would be that you would be able to then, once the store, the toys get to the store, you would then be able to buy the new toy. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try mapping out a chronology text structure on our own. But first, before you start mapping, make sure that you read through and you highlight the keywords 
to help you decide what the topic sentence is, your steps, and then the clincher. Good luck.